All right, what's up? What's going on, guys? My name's Captain Monk, and well, this is not my gameplay here today, guys. That I'm bringing to you guys. This is actually a good friend of mine's gameplay. His name is Alfredo, but he's got several other names, and at the current moment, he's going by the bad gameplays. The bad gameplays. Why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, what up, guys? It's Bad Gameplays here, coming at you guys with uh, a little gameplay. I'm actually doing this dual com with Adam, Captain Monk. And uh, he's been a good friend of mine. Do you want to start off with the whole history? Because it's a long one, Adam. Oh my god. Okay, that's basically what we're going to be talking about today, guys. It's basically our history. Because we've basically been like... This may sound kind of gay, but we've kind of been holding each other's hands for like the longest freaking time here. <laughs> <laughs> because basically, when I was at around like 200 subs, um, Alfredo... I'm not, I can't remember what name to call you because you have so many now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you keep changing yes, it around. Yes. But yeah. like, Alfredo is always your name. And I'm going to keep calling you Alfredo now because that's just the easiest way to go but basically what happened was was he found my channel first and he messaged me and started saying like you know I like your videos they're pretty good and stuff and I looked at his channel and I actually had the same feelings about his channel I thought he was pretty exciting to listen to and he was posting like black ops quick scope and stuff and his channel at the time was called Zed Virtual Fear I believe is that right uh, <laughs> you always get this mixed up. It's a uh, Z virtual fear. The only reason I put the Z in there was because I couldn't put V. Got me. So Z kind of sounded like it. I was trying to be a little smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's basically where I first met you. And you had about 350 subs at the time. And then about a week or two after, um, after that, what happened was your channel got like, hacked or something by your um, yeah. friend. Yeah, it was just really, really weird. The channel just happened to close down one day, and I went on it, and I was extremely sad. And then ever since then, you've been helping me out. Yeah, so what happened after that was you had to start a new channel. So you started this channel called uh, The Only Diablo, isn't that right? Uh, yeah. So on that channel, <laughs> you started doing, like, sub-gameplays and stuff. And I actually sent a sub-gameplay to you. And I think, like, a week after you got that channel started, maybe two weeks, you got an HD PVR because before that you had, like, a Dazzle or something. Yeah, I had, like, a Dazzle DVC 100. And it also proves to a lot of people that you don't really need an HD PVR to get a lot of subs as long as your content is really good. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, especially because um, with the Dazzle, I didn't know this in, for, until, like, a couple weeks ago, but there's, like, these little features with... um. On Sony Vegas, if you're a really good editor, what you can do is you can stretch it to fill up the entire screen, so that you can make it fill, like basically fill up the entire YouTube screen instead of having those um, it's called a pillar boxing where there's like this black line. Yeah, on either just side. like this square. <laughs> yeah, so isn't that what you did? You just kind of stretched it. Yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah, and that worked out really well for you. I mean, it looked really good actually for dazzling. I remember one time you were telling me that you had a dazzle. I was like. Wait, what the hell? No way! I thought you said it's like some really bad PVR or something. You have a dazzle? That's insane. <laughs> well done, man. <laughs> so yeah, that was was pretty funny. So, but yeah, what happened to your only Diablo channel? You should probably explain that because I don't know. Uh, it's basically, not even my guys, channel. I finally reached 300 subscribers again on the only Diablo, and a lot of people who are actually hearing this might actually know me because me and Adam have been helping out like for the longest time. We've actually been like doing back to back uh, oh dual God. comms and like sub gameplays on each other's channel. Uh, but what happened is, because my parents are really, really like, religious, uh, they found out that I was calling myself Diablo, and Diablo actually means the devil in Spanish. And my mom didn't really approve of this, so she actually made me close down my YouTube channel and made me actually give away my Xbox Live account. Here's my question. Why didn't you just change your gamer tag? I mean, can't you do that on Xbox? Uh, yeah, I could have changed my gamer tag, but the thing is, once you have a username on YouTube, you can't really you can't change it anymore. That username is there forever. And since it was the only Diablo, uh, my mom still didn't approve. Huh. So I mean, I can understand the YouTube thing. That makes sense. But I mean, I still think that you get you should just change your gamer tag. So you had so many things on your um your account. I mean, you had like what 15th <laughs> prestige on Black Ops. And I stuff? had a 15th prestige on Black Ops, a 7th prestige on Mono for three, a 10th prestige on Mono for two, and I think in Halo I was like. A general. I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's insane, man. I I don't know. It's it was your choice, it was your account. But personally, if I were you, I would have just changed my gamer tag. But that's just my opinion, anyways. Well, yeah. It, the thing is, I didn't have any Microsoft points. I couldn't do anything about it. It was like <laughs> she rushed you, you to change your gamer tag right away. Like how do you yeah, done? Was, like instantaneously. She gave me like two days. She gave oh, me two man. days to change it, and I I wasn't able to. Man, that sucks, dude. I should have like sent you some Microsoft points or something if I could have. No, I wouldn't have accepted them. I didn't accept them from anyone. I don't like taking anything. Oh, I see. It sucks being you. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so, basically, what, um, Alfredo is doing now is he started this new channel. Actually, didn't you start, like, two channels after starting the, um, The Only Diablo? Like, you started, like, one called, like, HD Nez and Uh Nez. Yeah. What happened with those? 
Uh, I started one that was like a uh, Nez, but the thing is, I was going through a lot of rough things, and so I ended up closing the channel down because I just couldn't really focus on it because I am enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, and so I thought I didn't have enough time to do it. And then I started HD Nez, but the thing is, right after I started it, my grandma died, and I just like thought that I was going to stop YouTube and like give my PVR away, but YouTube has become such a big hobby of mine because I've gotten so much support from like subscribers that I realized that I just couldn't stop, which is why I started The Bad Gameplays. And <laughs> Adam, have you seen any of my latest videos? They're hilarious. They're absolutely hilarious. I love them all. They're so funny. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, guys, basically why I started The Bad Gameplays is because I don't really have to worry about getting these amazing gameplays uh, like the ones that you're seeing right now. I don't really have to worry about like uh, like spending an entire day just to try to get this because I'm not like Adam where I can get like seven in an hour. <laughs> and, uh, I'm not like that, believe me. But <laughs> anyways, go on. Uh, so the bed gameplays what I do is a, just a bunch of live comms where I'm just having fun with a bunch of my friends on Xbox or just a bunch of subscribers I'm actually doing I actually have one already recorded from the, like a subscriber of mine And the thing is we just be ourselves and have fun because I'm honestly hilarious when I play Xbox because I can make like all these different accents and It's just funny to watch like the last one was honestly. I've gotten a lot of great feedback on it and in one, I think I lost like I launched the channel like three days ago, and I have like 36 subs already because they enjoy all the live comms. Yeah, your live comms are absolutely hilarious because like you have this ability to play and speak at the exact same time. Like when I'm playing, here's basically what I'm here's what going through my mind when I'm playing. Like I have a thousand things going through my head when I'm playing, but I do not say anything. The only time I say anything is when I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I'm doing good, I'm completely silent. I am as silent as something that's silent. I can't think of any analogies at the moment, but, like, I'm super quiet. Like, you do not hear me whatsoever, but as soon as I'm pissed, just all of a sudden, fuck! <laughs> yeah, then, like, the British accent comes out, and you're like, oh, that bloody mate right there, I swear to God, are you <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. He's hilarious. So, <laughs> if you're looking for someone who's just down to earth, guys, seriously, Fredo is the man for you. He's just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, guys, uh, basically what I've been doing on my channel lately is, like I said, a whole bunch of live comms. And what I do is I kind of mix it up because Adam actually inspired me to start using regular guns because all I did was snipe. I'm really amazing at sniping. He is. I actually, amazing. Yeah, I actually got into a team with like 6K subs because of my sniping skills, but I ended up leaving the team because I didn't really – I don't really enjoy being – because this team was so like uh, large headed with the ego that I just didn't really enjoy playing with them. Was this so I started? Or which which team was that? It was actually Push. Uh, they had I think they have around like six K subs right now. I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, you told me about that. Uh, but yeah, so I ended up leaving the team because they just had this entire ego, and I'm not really I don't really mind if I get huge or not because like I said, I do this for the hobby and just for the support I get. Yeah. So but, right now, are you in a clan right now? Uh, actually, no, I'm just doing my own thing and having fun. Yeah, because you've been in so many clans. I mean, I remember when I first met you, you were in, you were in FTP, which we're not going to get into too much detail what that means. <laughs> but, um, and then, then it was, Elt. like, Melt, and then I think it was Holy, and then Oust, and I don't know. Then I just realized that I should just stop and do my own thing because I have more fun like this. Yeah, I mean, it's fun to have a group of friends, but being basically like chained to them and not be able to go anywhere else it kind of sucks i mean it, and this may seem like a very weird um analogy but it's almost like being married <laughs> yeah because <laughs> it's like because you always have to play with them you're always worrying about getting clips and if you don't then they get all mad at you it's like a wife when yeah, she's exactly. like <laughs> and if you go and try to hang out with anyone else they get pissed at you and they start like hitting you with a bamboo stick across your anus or something like it's ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, guys, the the series that me and Adam were actually talking about, we were talking about this earlier, and he was actually quite interested in it. Uh, I do have different series. They're basically all live comms. One is actually considered bad gameplays, where I do use a regular gun, and I'm just trying to have fun. The other one is bad snipers, and honestly, the first one I posted was not a really good sniper gameplay, but it was probably the most hilarious thing that you will ever see. And the third gameplay, which is, I probably should be posting uh, Friday, uh... It's basically bad partners, which is basically going to be any game type with my cousin. And me and him honestly just have funny conversations because we're always arguing. And <laughs> it's bad so partners, true. Yeah. And so it's going to be anything from like Halo, Call of Duty, Black Ops, any Call of Duty basically, or like Gears of War because he's, all, he's really into Gears. And so it's going to be any of those three game types. And it just brings variety to the channel. And I actually thought it was a good idea. Yeah, I think it's a great idea because, I mean, on – 
I'm a victim of this, but I mean, on Call of Duty, or not on Call of Duty, excuse me, on YouTube, there is just so much Call of Duty. I mean, seeing some variety like other games, like Halo you mentioned, would be just so good because, I mean, the people who, there's people out there who play Halo and stuff, but the thing is, is none of them are really not entertaining. And seeing yeah. someone like you who's really entertaining and pretty damn good at these video games, I'm not going to lie, it'd be great to see someone like you playing Halo because, I mean, like I said, the people who play Halo right now and upload that, but it's boring, and that's the honest fact right now. <laughs> they talk with like a monotone voice, and they don't really say much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they play like this. Hey guys, uh, just playing some Halo. Uh, the real As you can game. see right here, I just passed this corner and I killed this <laughs> mod. <laughs> <laughs> Your British accent's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so I think this gameplay just comes to a close right here. So um, yeah. if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to go subscribe to Alfredo or The Bad Gameplays on his new channel. The link will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Right, well, thank you, Adam. No problem, man. <laughs> see you next time.